Well, you gotta look it up. Uh uh, this guy has. Man, it's into this beef shower. You not, you're not checking for me. You looking for Jay Z and Alicia Keys and me. Check for everybody. <laughs> the last headline we saw about Little Mama. Little Mama says Nicki Minaj stole her style. Yeah. Of course. All right. So what headlines are you? Little Mama stayed strong. So CTG started to get petty, <laughs> insulting the way she looks. Oh, yeah, so chill out, Jurassic Park, Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex, prehistoric. Yeah, you had a... uh, uh, oh my god. Like she wasn't giving in, and even her team was in the background unhappy with Charlemagne's comments. I'm sitting there trying to tell her the truth. Y'all the ones Y'all the ones yeah, exactly. who be lying to little mama. Ain't nobody nah, talking for little mama in these streets. Nah, I feel you. Exactly, man. Calm down, man. Bros, y'all talking to spoke girl. Oh my god. You know, but I mean you you Envy, just... am I lying? You one of the biggest DJs out of Envy. Is anybody checking for little mama tell the truth? That when is... the last time somebody said you'll play a little mama record in the club? Not at this present time. When the last Angela time, Yee. When the last time I put out a Not at this present time. God. Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. Not at this present time. Record. You just said you got so much music out. Yo, see now he's. That's playing. what she said. But, this Yo, is what, this is what but ultimately, he got the best of her, and she broke down. The girl to talk. And when you talk too much, you cannot control how you talk, man. You can't. This kind of thing can happen to you. Down. Um, when I was 17 years old, I put out an album while my mother was dying <clears throat> of cancer. That right there alone is a struggle. That's hard. Right. That's tough for anybody. My I need to have a guy calm down. Man. My music will speak for itself. My actions will speak for itself. My mother will be proud. My father will be proud. I think you got a real story to tell, and I think you should tell it. And you know, stop focusing on the gimmicks and stop letting people but I'm make not you out to be a caricature. Because right now you're like a caricature yourself. His attempt to exactly. Try and be understanding and empathetic at the end came off as disingenuous, which can be confirmed when he later admitted that he went into the interview with the intention of making Lil Mama cry. I told him the day before. Didn't I tell you, Angelique? We was in the bar. We was drinking. I said I'm gonna make Lil. Mama cry. Yo, that was that was, that was the intention. Mama cry tomorrow. Didn't I tell you that? You want to make it that? right? But but no. he has. Lil Mama was beaten up by the music industry, ridiculed and mocked. She apologized time and time again, but it was never good enough for anyone. What's crazy about this situation is Alicia Keys finally responded almost a decade later. Yeah, yeah, let's let's go. She didn't even really seem to care. She didn't even know. Never forgive little mama for that whole situation of that course. went down. <laughs> of course. Listen, uh, to this day, uh, you know, to this day, I truly never knew she was even on the stage. That's the craziest part of the whole thing for me. Sile. I was on that stage. Jay was in the middle. She was on the other side of Jay, and I never saw her. Never. Now, did Jay-Z actually black... Jesus Christ. ...fall her from the music industry? Well... We'll never really be able to prove that. It's more likely that the fans were just unfairly brutal towards her. They didn't care about what new creative project. I know, right? It's, it's just people, people just can be mean. Like just write you up, cancel you. Projects she was working on. They just wanted to keep making fun of her for a mistake she made at age 19. All of her music afterwards fell on deaf ears. She didn't stop creating, but was never able to build up the confidence to release another album since she felt the world hated her. Now I'll be honest. None of her music was really that good. But she did transition into acting in uh, the 2010s where she has seen more success. Her it was, where she act? Performance as Lisa Left Eye Lopez in the TLC biopic Crazy Sexy Cool received critical acclaim. This was nice. also the highest viewed television film of 2013. From there, nice. she even began doing performances with TLC doing Left Eye's verses. For the past few years, she has been landing very consistent acting roles. That's nice and has proved herself worthy of the big screen. Although her Instagram at is still Lil Mama, it seems like she will be distancing herself from that alias soon, identifying as her real name.